Disney World. This is BBC World. Bomb disposal experts carry out a controlled explosion outside the BBC's television centre in London. The BBC's television newsroom is evacuated after the police carry out a major anti-terrorism operation. In other news, there are fears that foot and mouth disease may have reached mainland Europe. Welcome to BBC News. I'm Susan Osmond, the BBC's Westminster studios. We're broadcasting from here for the time being because of that explosion that you just saw outside our main news centre in West London. Well, bomb disposal officers have carried out a controlled explosion on a suspicious vehicle thought to be a taxi outside BBC Television Centre in West London. At around 12.30am, there was an explosion at the front of the building. The front of Television Centre had been evacuated and broadcasting continued throughout. BBC staff in Inside the building heard the bomb go off. There are no reports of any injuries. The Metropolitan Police received a coded warning saying there was an explosive device at the front of BBC Television Centre at around 11.30pm. One nearby resident reported hearing several loud bangs, one of which blew a glass, glass lampshade off his living room wall. Officers from the police's anti-terrorist branch are at the scene. Well, I'm joined now by um, Laurie Mogolis from BBC Television Centre, who's our correspondent, who I believe you saw everything, didn't you, Laurie? Uh, I did, Susan. We were about 200 yards away on the roof of uh, a building, um, a cameraman John Brotherton and myself. We were there for about half an hour. There was a slow build-up of police activity. The bomb disposal Land Rover turned up and the, uh, the, the robot that you can now see in the pictures went up to the London taxi, which was the object of their attentions. At about 12.15, we think they fired a round into the taxi, either to break the windows or to open the door. That sounded like, a, if you like, a car backfiring at some distance. Um, then... At 12.27, the explosion, which you've already shown a couple of times, happened. Uh, if the police say it was controlled, I have no immediate reason to disagree with them. I've got to say, it didn't seem controlled. Um, it seemed to go off. It was a heck of a bang. Um, I think, I mean, I, I've seen similar ones in Northern Ireland. It's hard to compare bombs with bombs. I wouldn't have said it was a massive explosion in terms of the, the amount of explosive there. But nevertheless, it was a substantial bang. We could feel the impact of it two or three hundred yards away. And uh, the fire that you're seeing presumably was the, the fuel tank going up. Um, as far as we know, there is not much damage inside the BBC newsroom, which, which, which faces the scene you're looking at there. We think there's a window knocked out, not much other damage, although um, we are not allowed in there and won't be for some time. And uh, many vehicles on the road outside also will have been quite badly damaged, I think. What have the police said about this, Laurie? Well, not much so far. They said there was a coded warning, a recognised code word, which uh, certainly caused them to get us to evacuate the building about uh, half an hour, 45 minutes before this happened. And uh, since then, as I say, they, they claim the explosion was as a result of a controlled explosion. Now, what that would mean is that uh, the, the robot that you can see fired something into the taxi and made this thing blow up. Now, whether it was controlled in the sense that it blew up when they intended to blow it up, or whether it went up uh, of its own volition, as it were, we can't really say yet. Where, where did you first realise that there was going to be this um, evacuation from the BBC? Uh, we, we had an, uh, an emergency uh, call. There's a, there's a well-rehearsed procedure here for this sort of thing. We, 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 it is rehearsed quite often. And uh, we, uh, we, we were told to leave the part of the building which faces onto Wood Lane, onto the road you can see there. People will move back into the, the innards of the complex, as it were. It's a very large area that BBC Television Centre covers. And uh, as I say, uh, the, the cameraman and myself went to a what, what we considered a relatively safe spot with the view of the scene and, uh, and, and shot what, uh, what you have been showing several times. Laurie Margolis, thanks very much for joining us. Well, I'm joined now by Andrew Clark, who was actually inside the building at the time. What did you hear when you were inside, Andrew? Well, um, it what happened was um, it was uh, about 12.30 and um, the 
the room shook, there was a large bang, um, there was some panic, there were about 30 members of staff, I would say, inside the, the newsroom at the time, and uh, we were told to evacuate, to leave the building as quickly as possible, and we did so, we moved, and obviously we've, we've come here to report the events. Now, Laura was talking about procedures. When did you know that it was actually quite a serious situation? Uh, I think it became clear to us all when um, we were told to leave um, the, 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 the main part of the building. If you're looking at the pictures now, hmm. you can see that where we normally work from as journalists is actually uh, at the front of the building, obviously only a few yards away from where the explosion actually took place. Um, we were then moved to another part of the building, um, at the back of the building, but, um, you know, so we were probably a little further away, but we could still feel the impact of the explosion. I understand some people heard the explosion up to seven miles away, is that right? That's right, yes. I mean, um, we have some um, eyewitnesses, um, some people on Uxbridge Road, which is probably, well, certainly at least um, half a mile, if not a mile away, it depends how far along the road, um, where the, um, the, uh, the houses um, shook with the force of the, the blast. Now, Laurie said he, he couldn't, it was too early to say whether it was controlled or not, that the police actually haven't responded, or what do you know about this? Have they said any more about well, according, motives? Well, sorry, yes, according to the uh, latest information that's, that's come in, um, there was apparently a coded warning which was given to Scotland Yard and that's why they took out the, to, uh, this action. Uh, but they are not, or they're refusing to give any more information for the time being. Andrew Clark, thanks so much for joining us for the time being. Well, of course, we will keep you up to date on that story as we get more information. Uh, other news now, though. Despite stringent protection measures, there are fears that foot and mouth disease may have spread from the UK to mainland Europe. A pig farm at Digsmud, Belgium, is the site of the first suspected case. Although initial tests have proved negative, all livestock exports have been banned from the country. And in France, the disease is suspected at a sheep farm at roche la moliere In the UK, the number of confirmed cases is grown to over 50. Apparently fired a round into the vehicle, a suspect taxi. The vehicle then exploded, indicating, uh, according to the person that we have spoken to, uh, that it is likely uh, to be a bomb. But at this stage, the investigation is completely open. Uh, there's no suggestion of uh, any other suspicious involvement. But that is what we've heard from a BBC correspondent. Moving on now, there's been more evidence of the human tragedy suffered as a result of the Selby rail disaster. The two young sons of the freight train driver have been taken to the scene where they're... News, Bangkok. You're watching BBC News. I'm Susan Osmond. We're broadcasting from our Westminster studios because of a controlled explosion earlier outside Television Centre in West London. Bomb disposal officers have arrived and... Uh, so I don't think there would have been anybody in any vulnerable position. Wood Lane, which is a fairly busy road, although of course this was very early in the morning, so there wasn't that much traffic. Wood Lane was sealed off at both ends. Um, no traffic was within two or three hundred yards. The police here were keeping what few pedestrians they, they were well out of the way. Uh, the, the police who were on patrol outside were really quite jumpy when they, when they saw us. They uh, shrieked at us to get out of the way, which we, we, we did relatively quickly. Laurie Margulis, thanks so much for joining us. Well, you are watching the BBC. My name is Susan Osmond. We're broadcasting from the Westminster studios. We heard from Laurie Margulis and we saw the pictures there. A controlled explosion took part place outside the BBC television studios in West London just after half past 12. Some said they heard the blast from seven miles away. We'll have more on that, plus other news a little later on. You're watching the BBC News. Hello again. We're going ahead to South Asia now, where over the last couple of days we've seen one or two thunderstorms across some northern plains.